Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Coming to you from Las Vegas at the Pam Rehabilitation Center. How are you guys doing today? I've got the good doctor helping me. Turn it around so they can see who you are. That's the Hello, doctor. Abby. He's, he's taking the, the, the video for me. Because I tend to, to shake too much. And uh, I just want to let you know what happened at the eye doctor. The eye doctor changed what he said. The other day he said definitely I would be blind in 10 years. But if, if I do everything correctly and stay off the Coca-Cola and the chocolate and all the sweet stuff, I'll be okay. So I have to change everything. You know, I have to change not smoking, I have to change everything and so that my eyes won't get retinopathy. So that's what I'm planning to do. Yesterday he gave me some laser treatment. He put some, he, he, he lasered my retina, or the back of my eyes, so that they wouldn't bleed as much or wouldn't bleed at all. I can't remember which one. But he said he's got to do 10 more. But 10 times more, which is supposed to be April 12th. But I don't want to wait till April 12th. I think I'm going to go back, get my wife her visa, and, and come back with her so I have help. And the doctor is, is shaking his head right now like that's a, a good idea. <laughs> And there's other things I have to do. I have to get the uh, uh, the MRI to make sure I don't have a brain tumor that the last one was a stroke. But he can't do that for three or four months. So I'll be coming home sooner than I thought. And before I go, I've got to, I've got to go to the uh, immigration here in, in Las Vegas and apply for Rose's visa here in America rather than in, in the in the Philippines, because it just seems like they just say automatically no. So if I fly here, and I have letters from the doctors that I shouldn't fly without help, that that'll get me an emergency visa. So maybe I could go back again next month or the month after, and they could do the MRI and, and fix my eyes up. But I'm feeling a lot better right now. I'm glad I came. I got to meet a lot of the Filipino, black American guys that are here. And the doctor is one of them. And he has four beautiful daughters. <laughs> yes. All right, yes. so he's been helping me stay right. Now, there's some things I'd like to say that I found out that I'm wrong about. I said that the Filipinos that are in America are different than Filipinos in, in the Philippines. They're not different, they're exactly the same. They're just as nice and sweet as Filipinos in, Philippine, in the Philippines. In fact, the thing, all the nice people that are here at the hospital are Filipino. The ones I've never had any problems with have been Filipinos. So I'm, I'm letting you guys know, if you meet a Filipino in America, you've met a real Filipino. So don't be scared of meeting Filipinos in, the, in America because they're still sweet and nice. I've met a lot of nice people here, but the one thing that has changed a lot about America is every place I've been is understaffed. There's shortage of workers everywhere in every field, at the airport, at the uh, hospitals, everywhere, the air traffic controllers, everywhere is short of people to work. So the one people, the people that do want to work and taking things very, very seriously is immigrants. So we do need immigrants in America. And the doctor's shaking his head as I'm talking to you because it, it's just, it's unbelievable how everywhere you go is short staff. Am I correct? You are indeed. Everywhere. I agree. So if you come to America and you're Amer uh, an immigrant, you will find a job here easy because there's tons because nobody seems to want to work. And the people that are working are not working really hard. The ones that are working hard, I've met, the, I've met here at the hospitals, have been the Filipinos and the Africans. And so 
If you're thinking about coming to America for work, come here the right way and you'll get a green card and you'll find a job within a day. A guarantee. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing fine. I miss you, Rose. Rose is in uh, Manila with her sister's boyfriend. They had took Sophie to uh, some kind of place or something. All right, that's all. I just wanted you to see. And now he's going to show you a little bit of Vegas. Let's go pan around to see Vegas. And those are the mountains in Vegas. They're not little short mountains like in, in the Philippines. They're real mountains. They're very high. <laughs> and palm trees. And it's very nice here. Very nice. Very right. nice. Did you say good morning, good evening, good... Yeah, I, I did all that. I, <laughs> at the beginning, I said it. So, good night, good afternoon.